In today's video, we are continuing the talk about EV vehicles. So we're going to be talking about level one, two, and three chargers. We're going to be talking also about what this specific device is. So in general, we're talking about EV basics. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. So before we dive deep into the different levels of charging, I want to explain to you how the energy gets to the vehicle. So we've got two types of currents. We've got a DC, which is direct current, and AC, which is alternating current. So the easiest and simplest way that I can explain to you is DC is basically think of a battery. You've got a positive terminal and a negative terminal, and it stays constant, right? Now, alternating current is completely different because it goes from positive to negative, back and forth, and it constantly moves and changes up to 50 times a second. All right, so now the grid, which is what powers up all of these homes and gives electricity nationally, they emit the current in AC form, okay? Well, how does that do, or how does that work? Well, first of all, the battery in this vehicle only accepts DC charging, okay? So let's explain how we get from AC to DC, right? So first of all, this right here is called an EVSE. So a lot of people refer this to it as a charger, but it is not a charger. It is an electric vehicle supply equipment. This basically just sends the power from an outlet through the system to the vehicle, and then from the vehicle inside of its component, you've got an inverter or a charger which takes the AC power and converts it to a DC and then that's how your battery gets charged. Okay, so now we come to level one charging of your Ford EV vehicle. Okay, so this is a 120 volt outlet, mostly done at the house and it it's alternating current and it uh, requires the standard household outlet as you have there. Now the speed, the speed I call it a sloth because it just takes way too long to charge up your vehicle. In most cases, it takes 20 hours or more to do a full charge from like dead zero. The main application to a level one charging is emergency use only or if you're not driving too much, you can use this. Like for example, this vehicle, we have it here as a display vehicle. So it's not driven much. So this works perfectly fine. Now the pro is that this might be free at no additional charge included with your EV purchase. The con of a level one charger is that it just takes too long to charge up from zero to a respectable amount. Okay, so now we come to the most common level of charging, which is a level two. Now this is more common to be used at your home. It is super common to find it at a shopping center or actually some of the work environments might have a level two charger. Now this is a 240 volt outlet and it does require you to switch out your EVSC from your 120, just pop this out and you switch it to your 241. This is like the dryer outlet, right? That you have at your home. And this also can be used with this connection to have your intelligent backup power, which is a phenomenal feature on the Ford vehicles, which allows you to power back up your home in case you've had a, uh, a power outage. Now the speed on this one, I'm calling it a rabbit because it does charge at about 30-ish miles per hour of charge. And its main purpose is for everyday use. Most people are going to be using it um, at home, at a shopping center, at work. Uh, the pro is that it's the best charging solution at a cheap electricity rate. Because remember, you can actually say or program in your system when to charge. And some electric providers actually tell you if you charge within these hours, your charge per kilowatt hour is going to be less expensive. So um, one last thing about the Pro on level two is that it does not put any stress on the battery. Now, the cost is a con. The installation, the hiring of an electrician, 
the purchase of the actual a wall system is the con that you have on a level two. So now we come to the bonus part of this video is wireless charging. Yeah, just like your cell phone, where you can place it on a wireless charging pad and it charges your device. The same thing is now happening with electric vehicles. There are some companies out there that have their own uh, charging pad. So there's no cords, there's no cables needed for you to be able to connect your EV vehicle to that charging station. And in most cases, these companies are saying that it'll be charging at a level two rate. And you don't have to worry about climate, weather, rain, snow, dirt. So it really doesn't matter where you live in the country because this charging pad will be able to not be affected by the inclement weather. So it's as easy as parking, literally. You just drive over it. The system will tell you where to stop to get the best connection wirelessly to your battery. You stop, you exit your vehicle, and the system charges the vehicle at a level two charging speed, which is our rabbit, right? Remember? So um, that is the bonus uh, way that you can charge your EV vehicle. So now we come to the level three charging station, as you can see. Just a quick reminder, most of these, I think all of them, excuse me, are gonna be found on a commercial site like you have here, maybe along freeways, shopping centers. As you can see, you've got Firehouse Sub over there. You have a few other places like you got a shopping center there. You also have Mexican restaurants, some Subway. You've got a lot of awesome pretty stuff that you can you know refuel yourself while you're fueling your lightning so remember there is an inverter already built in to this ev charging station so it is dumping dc current directly into the battery of the vehicle the speed on this one is a cheetah that is the fastest way that you can raise up your percentage on the battery charge that you have on the vehicle. So I'm estimating that it's gonna charge time-wise between 20 to 40 minutes to give you from a 10% to an 80% state of charge when you're going this way. Now, in some cases, I don't know about this one, but in some cases you can charge up to 350 kilowatt an hour. The Lightning accepts up to 150 kilowatt an hour. The main purpose of going, an application of going with this type of level charger is when you're going long distance travel, you're going on a trip and you're managing to get to your destination by the use of this EV charger. So the huge pro is the super fast charging that you've got on this one right here. Now the con is that it could degrade the battery if you use it uh, constantly and often. In addition to that, it does cost you a little bit more money to use this versus your home charging system at a level two. Well, there you have it guys. This is a hopefully an informative video regarding the different levels of charging. Now I've got my lightning being charged right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, but I wanted to remind you guys to make sure that you subscribe to Blue Pulse EV. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any upcoming video. And as always, the comment section below is open comment would you own an ev what do you think about the different levels of charging and uh, if you have any questions regarding anything about evs please comment below but for right now excuse me i'm gonna have me some ice cream on to the next video have a blessed day